Growing up the way I did and having a completely different lifestyle than I currently live right now, I definitely had a huge moment where it was like this completely different world. For land protector, activist, and model, Kwana Chasing Horse, life shifts between the glitz and glamour of fashion runways to the sacred pathways of her indigenous roots. I found that through my culture, through my practicing my traditions, and through my people. You know, that is what gives me purpose and makes me feel fulfilled is my people, my passion and love for my people and the earth. She's fourth generation of the Gwich'in Nation. Part of their mission is to fight for and protect the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. These fragile ecosystems are protected by Native American or indigenous people. That alone just shows the much love and care that we have, whether it be for our community or for the earth. Because one thing that I was taught, and I feel like a lot of indigenous people have this value, is you know we do not see ourselves separate from nature, because we are nature. Kwana uses her platform to advocate for indigenous sovereignty, climate justice, protecting lands and waters, and stopping violence against native women. Me and on Edge came here to fight not only for climate protection, but also fighting for our Arctic refuge, our animals. Defend the sacred! Defend the sacred! It's an honor because as someone that now represents so much more than myself, I represent my people and I represent you know, a community that is so underrepresented, I wanna make sure that I show up in the best way that I can, whether it be for advocacy or modeling, or both, you know, trying to make sure that um, I'm doing, you know, work in both fields and tying them together because all these issues are so interconnected. Kwana's career as a fashion model has opened a door to bring her principles into the fashion world. Not only am I one of the first indigenous models, but one of the first if not the first indigenous model to carry traditional tattoos and grace them on the cover of a magazine. I'm given the space to be myself and to really represent my people in a way where like, I'm able to insert my values in my work, in modeling more specifically. And, you know, especially if I'm given the platform and given the opportunity to help a brand or a designer or company or whoever really take the steps to, you know, either be more sustainable or to be more inclusive or to really uplift those organizations who are doing Frontline's work. Kwana was raised by a group of strong and courageous women, including her single mother. It was this upbringing that helped her find her voice. I want to make my ancestors proud. I want to make my family proud. I want to make myself proud and how I feel that is when I remember who I am and where I come from and the, the generations of people that fought so hard for me to be here. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.